Why did God let the Holocaust happen? You know, Jesus would often answer a question with a question. I will be direct, but I'd like to ask you this. What was really so bad about the Holocaust that people bring this up as if it was such a new phenomenon? People have been killing each other for thousands of years, so why is the Holocaust something that's so shocking? I suppose it's because the Jews were the targets, and the Jews apparently are God's chosen people. So if God allows this to happen to his chosen people, then maybe I just don't want to be chosen of God. It says in the book of Romans that the Jews are under the harshest judgment because to them was the revelation of God given, the first revelation of God. The most revelation of God was given to the Jewish people, so they are the ones to whom are the, they are the most accountable. The Bible says to whom much is given, much is expected, much is required. So am I saying that the Holocaust was a judgment of God upon the Jewish people? Now, please understand that I am a Jew myself. Yes, I'm a Christian by faith, but I am Jewish born, and I would have been killed in the Holocaust along with all my brothers and sisters who died in it. So please appreciate that I appreciate the horrors of the Holocaust, but really, what was the true horror of the Holocaust if it wasn't death? That's really what the Holocaust was all about. It was about death. So the real question is not why did the Holocaust happen, because frankly there have been many Holocausts, not just directed towards the Jews, but many people have been killed by many other people throughout history, and there will be people dying today, and there will be people dying tomorrow. The real issue is death itself. Why do people die, period? When we have an answer to that, we may discover an answer to the Holocaust. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. By one man, death entered the world by sin, by man disobeying God and creating a schism between God and man, by man corrupting his own nature and becoming an evil being. Well, yes, men began to murder each other. So why does God allow men to murder each other? Well, again, we talked about in this very video about the free will of man and God allowing us to choose freely and to face the consequences of our actions. So why do people murder other people and why does God allow people who are essentially innocent to be murdered by other people? Well, again, if God was to remove the possibility of murdering another person, let's say every time you shot a gun the bullet turned to water, or every time you tried to stab someone with a knife the knife turned to rubber, you know, well, then there would be no consequences to our actions, so we would do these things all the time and never actually genuinely uh, acknowledge what we're doing is evil because there would be no consequences to our actions so consequences have to exist and if God removed our free will well he would defeat the very purpose of creating us which is so that we could choose freely to love God after all free love true love I, I mean true love has to be chosen freely as I pointed out when uh, a person asked a very different but similar question regarding free will so that's why the Holocaust happened because men are evil uh, because, and this one I didn't bring up, because Satan wants to kill the Jewish people. Um, I, you can watch the video I made about Satan if you'd like to be uh, more informed about that one. So why did God allow Satan and human beings to attack the Jewish people? If you read Deuteronomy chapter 28, I've said this a long time ago, and people really twisted my argument, so please pay attention here. Deuteronomy 28 talks about the blessings and the curses that God would pronounce upon Israel contingent upon their obedience to the covenant that God made with them. Now, the curses, the curses that God promised to Israel are described in Deuteronomy 28, and some of them, frankly, just, they read as the Holocaust. So, you can look it up yourself, Deuteronomy 28, God essentially predicted that the Holocaust would happen. Now, that does not mean God caused the Holocaust. If I told a child, if you touch the hot stove, you're going to get burned, that doesn't mean that I burned the child. It just means I warned them what would happen if they do something. They did it, and they had the free will to do it, and that happened. And that's precisely what happened with the Holocaust. God told the Jewish people that he would protect them and bless them so long as they remained in covenant with him, but if they didn't, that their enemies, the enemies of the Jews, which are not just human beings, but demons and Satan, would attack them and be unrelenting and, uh, and essentially destroy them. And that's, that is what happened. So God is not the cause of the Holocaust, but because the Jews broke covenant. Now you're going to ask, how did the Jews break covenant? If you read Deuteronomy 28, one of the things indicative of the Jews breaking covenant is their scattering out of the land of Israel. 
when did the national exile of Israel happen? It happened in 70 AD. So what happened around 70 AD, which was about 2,000 years ago, that caused the worst exile in the history of the Jews? What was the absolute breaking of the covenant with God, if not for the rejection of Jesus Christ? So that's why the Holocaust happened, because men are evil, because Satan's after the Jews, because the Jews rejected covenant with God by rejecting the Messiah. These are a few of the reasons, so please do not misconstrue me as saying that the Holocaust is not a tragedy. Of course it is. Death is a tragedy. Death is an enemy. I myself am Jewish, and I appreciate that. But I am also a Christian and acknowledge that the Jews, because of their scriptures, because of the revelation, they have no excuse for rejecting Jesus Christ. And frankly, frankly, without Jesus Christ, the horrors of the Holocaust are nothing compared to the horrors of those who die in their sins. And it's just tragic that many of the Jewish people, yes, they do die without Jesus Christ, and their, their fate is sealed.